So January is the time of the year when I start really thinking about the garden, about the upcoming garden. It's a chilly day today here in Brasstown, but we're out and about, me and Corey are, kind of looking through the garden, seeing what needs to be done. We still have some turnips here growing uh, that we've been harvesting that we planted last fall. Still have some mustard and some kale that we were eating on. Uh, my radishes that I planted in the fall didn't really do good. They grew, but they didn't produce any radishes for some reason. Um, so what else do we have growing from last fall? My, a lot of my stuff, for the first time ever, got eat completely down. Whether that was by rabbits or by a deer, I'm not sure. But um, some of the rutabagas and the, some turnips that I planted in the backyard mowed down just within time. I mean, it hadn't even got cold weather yet and something had eat them. But the ones in the front here have fared better and we've been enjoying them. I'm already thinking about what we want to do different this year and of course what we want to do the same. There's some stuff that we do the same every year that I would never change. Um, I've already, back last fall, I ordered um, some mulch, so we already have some mulch on hand. I ordered a load of compost. We like mushroom compost. I already have that on hand, so hopefully in the coming days and weeks we can begin to put that out onto all the beds so we'll be ready when planting really gets here. I'm also excited this year about trying, last year I tried to start my pepper plants way earlier. Now our problem is with our greenhouse, it's not heated. We do have a little heater that we can run on very cold nights, but the sunshine does great by the time it gets to where we would start our tomato plants and peppers, but peppers go so slow that last year I thought I would start them early in the basement with grow lights, so I did that. but I. I had poor germination and a lot of you on here told me it was because I needed a heat pad underneath. I needed heat coming up so I hope to try that this year. The problem with using our greenhouse at this time of the year is the uh, location of the sun. Since we're on the north side of the mountain, the sunshine really doesn't heat the greenhouse until we get to about March, late February, early March. And I found with my peppers that just doesn't give them time enough to really get strong uh, and uh, the growth on them to where when I put them out in the garden that they, they're really quickly ready to produce, to start producing. Most of the time my peppers come in in August, late August by that time, uh, the ones that I start from seed. Another thing I'm excited about this year that I've never tried before, uh, we have blueberry bushes. We've had them forever, for 20 years probably, and they produce good for us. We, I really love them. The funny thing about our blueberry bushes is some years the birds never find them. Like for maybe five years at a time, the birds will never find them. And then all of a sudden, one year will come and they'll find them. And it's like overnight, my blueberries are gone. Well, that happened last year. That's what happened last year. It hadn't happened in a long time, but it happened last year and the birds ate all my blueberries. So I hope to invest in some covers for my blueberries this year, just to make sure that the birds don't get all my blueberries. Another thing we tried for the first time last year, which worked out so well that I know we'll do from now on, is to grow our cabbage under crop, under row covers to protect them from the bugs, from uh, the larvae that they lay their little eggs and then the worms get in your cabbages. It worked so well. It was the prettiest cabbage that we've ever grown and I just was so excited about it. Our only mistake was when we ordered the little rings that cover the cabbage, we got them way too small. Uh, it actually, the cabbage did grow in them. Uh, by the end of the season, they were kind of busting out, but they did grow in them. So I hope to get some larger uh, hoops so that we can do that again. And I would also like to put my kohlrabi under there. Some, I did have some under there and it was so pretty and nice and pristine. And then the kohlrabi that I had out in the garden suffered bug damage. It was still good, it was still edible, but it was more of a battle trying to keep all the bugs off of it. Of course, when it comes to growing the, the seeds, there's always, as a gardener, you're always like, you know, this is the time of the year, all those wonderful seed catalogs are coming in. So I've been going through them and thinking, ooh, I love that, I love that, I love this, I'd love to try that. Of course, my main problem is I don't have enough room, even if I had the time to take care of it all. I, I don't, I'm limited space in my gardening. But one thing I do hope to try is a, a several different varieties of peas, and hopefully I can plant them early, early on, um, and kind of get them out of the way before beans and stuff like that start coming in. And the main reason I want to do it, I tell you, last year, uh, on up in the summer, we played at a church in such a 
was it such as Corey? Such as Georgia. Corey's helping me here today. Such as Georgia. Beautiful church way over in the mountains. It was a beautiful drive to get there. Wonderful congregation. They treated us like we were just family. It was just a, a, a wonderful day. And afterwards they fed us. You know, there's never any food better than those uh, church meals that you get from from those uh, wonderful people that have been cooking for the last 40 years and it was just delicious everything was but there was a dish of peas several different varieties of peas uh, larger ones smaller ones and then kind of like a lima bean and i got some of it and it was so good it was so good so i ate it and i went back for more and then i decided you know i should really just find out who made this and ask them about it so i did and the lady was very nice to me and she told me that she'd been making it for 40 years that she made it. It was just something she made that her and her husband really liked. He was passed away now, but that she still made it and that she always had to make it to bring it to church. So of course I started asking her where she got the peas and, and she grew them. So she told me all about that. So I'm gonna, my goal is to be able to, to make that dish from peas out of my own yard this year. So I hope you've enjoyed kind of hearing about what I have planned for the garden. Uh, this is just January, so we're just getting started, but it's such an exciting time of the year as a gardener. You have so many plans and, and so many hopes and dreams for your garden that's kind of laid fallow, although ours has not totally been fallow this winter because we do have our turnips and our kale and our uh, mustard greens and um, a few other little green type things still growing. But still, it's that time when you really get anxious and start dreaming of the, that first red tomato and the first mess of green beans, the first mess of fresh green beans that's so good, fresh onions, kill lettuce. That's the first thing we look forward to is a, a big bowl of kill lettuce in spring of the year. So let me know what you're doing, if you're gardening this year, what your plans are. And as always, drop back by often while we celebrate Appalachia.